Could you summarize for me where Falcon Store fits into all the post VMworld activity? Because all the post VMworld, you know, because well, it all unfolded in front of our eyes. We talked on Monday, but now take another shot. Lay it on top. Point to the key proof points that say, hey, you know, the Falcon Store, you know, our our focus is relevant, and um, and why? People and I, and care. I can be self-serving, right? Yeah, be it's a Falcon Store conversation. I mean, people want to know. Yeah, help you know, people understand. What, well, what, what I, I you, think how are you going to deploy those assets? Falcon Store's position on this is that when you're working with IBM, you're working with VMware, you're working with Microsoft, you know, they have an agenda, they have value to bring to the table, and they want to sell you solutions. Obviously, we want to do the same, but our focus is on the protection and the preservation and the integrity of your data. And we're the one vendor who's 100% focused on that. So when you're talking about moving from a virtual environment or from a physical environment to virtual, you know, how are you going to bridge that gap? And how are you going to make sure you can go from one to the other and make sure your data is protected and secured? So everything we do is around that conversation where it's got to be available. If it's not available, it doesn't need no good, right? Yeah. I've got to be able to manage it cost effectively. You know, that's what vCloud Director is about, right? How it's going to be the operating system for the internet. I mean, is it possibly going to be that? And that's it's a really exciting thing, but what does it come down to? Management, management, management. That's where you know the rubber meets the road. That's what they're focused on. We want to be the management player on the storage and the data protection side. So we got to do the management piece. And you have to be able to protect data based on what you can afford to pay for and what you can afford not to lose, right? So if you can have fault tolerant systems that are always up, that's great. And if you can pay for it, that's great. In a financial transaction environment, you're going to do that. But if you want data that's 10 minutes away or an hour away, you can do that too. Because every time you go down, it becomes less expensive. You have to have a solution that provides that solution. Yeah, right. so you've got you've got shorter RPO requirements. We've been hearing that a lot this week. RPO right? came up a lot. You know, the concept of a backup window, yeah. it's it's a you know, it's an endangered species. That's arcane, there's no thing right? as a backup window anymore, right? right? And, and so and and you can't move all the data. You know, it used to be a backup window was how much data can you move in a twenty four hour period of time? Well, there's so much data you can't do it. So now we have to back up continuously all the time. We have to replicate, snapshot, do it all the time. So that's the way people have to think about their yeah. solutions for us what's going on in the cloud. We think about getting the data in, getting it out, protecting it when it's in the cloud management. That's important to us. And then what's happening at the remote site? Look, you're yeah. moving data in the cloud, but you still have physical data locally. You got to protect that as well. So disk to disk to cloud, that's probably where we're going. Yeah, disk-based backup is another big theme, right? We're seeing that disk to disk is, is, is taking over, right? right? We've seen that now for a number of years. I, but I liked the, the notion that we were talking about before of Apple Time Machine for the data center. I mean, I think that's the model that the industry really has to right, get to. Right, right, and, that, and that's a direction where we're going, and actually we do that, one of our customers says they no longer do backup, they pre-stage potential recovery points. Right. And, and so, when you queue up all those snapshots, you're able to go back in time, just like you know, a time machine does, and say, hey, Mr. Engineer, here's that system from last week, you're up and running and going. So that and when you deliver that as a virtual machine, it's instantaneous. And, and that